Hello and welcome back to a more modern looking Tropigan city. Um, but I'm still trying, of course, to achieve a bit of a balance between the historical sites of my city that went back to the colonial age, right? Like all of these smaller buildings there in the center. Um, but at the same time, of course, we need to look forward and forward looking is one thing that I want to do right now. So in this episode, we are going to have the tourists coming into Tropico. Also, this grocery store, I'm saying bye bye to you. Why? Even though it's used, why am I deleting this one here? Well, let's just have a look. We have a fast food joint there. We have a park that I no longer need. We have this modern apartment that I'm going to relocate to this area now where just the grocery store was sitting around. Um, let's just find us a nice like this right so we can relocate this and i want to do something here i want to build a shopping mall right so we need to even move the uh fast food restaurant i'm going to move this over there the shopping mall is the latest fashion that we have now so instead of the grocery store we have the shopping mall and the shopping mall sells edible goods and provides food to the households of visiting citizens it also sells consumer goods to increase the happiness and it makes money that is the important thing here for us it does however cost me 60 megawatt um, that means basically that we need to increase our power production once again um, and in that case here once again i would like to have the solar power plant i know i know we are spamming them a bit too much but they're so effective they're just they just work right and well they need a lot of space that's the their only downside they really need a lot of space let's have another one oh where should we have another one i'm already using um the highest uh, efficiency for those so let's just get rid of this road there for now real quick have the solar power plant here right yep this is working out nicely um and then i can fix this road issue there by going like that that's looking much better anyway so there we have another one coming up very important because we need it and then i can now build the the shopping mall as soon as i find it again there it is it's a beautiful building by the way and it just fits into a modern city so i'm going to have the shopping mall right here in the center of it we're by the way at ninety-five thousand, despite investing so much right now so that is working out we have a bit of space there that i want to utilize as well either by having some more parks or hmm we don't have anything that is so really small that we could squeeze in, so let's just have some parks there before bunkhouses appear, right? There is actually a tree. I would like to keep this tree there and just build my parks around it. Just hope that I don't destroy this tree here one bit, right? So that we have a few parks around it and then this nice tree there. Loving it. I hope there's no smaller cab or shab or, well, shabby coming along now. This would be a shame because that is a beautiful one. This is being built, um, only costs 3,600. You know what, let's just finish this one real quick. And the shopping mall, there it is. It's getting some high, it should be getting some, oh, actually no, it's uneducated workers that work there. I got it all wrong, uneducated. What could we do? Luxury outlets and air conditioning. Um, let's not do this for now. Beautiful, really, I love this building there. Fantastic. No customers yet. They're coming. I'm pretty sure they're coming, right? All right. Now, the rest is working more or less. I don't see any empty thing, any empty factories anymore. So I just hope that for now, my industry is working again fine and we can focus on tourists. Now for tourists, I do need a couple of things first. The first thing that I need for tourists is a tourist port, right? Without that, tourists will not be coming into my city. So there's the tourist port. This is where they departure and where they um, start and where they begin their adventure in Pico. It needs a road connection. That's basically it for now. So there we have the first building. We continue though with the tourists. I would like to have something where they can live in and that is some hotels. Now we do have a couple of options for that. We have, for example, the beach villa, a high quality accommodation um, for two rooms preferred by tourists streaking stress relief. Right? So that is something we have different kind of tourists, by the way. So we have the stress people that want just to get uh, some relaxation. We have families that want to join. So we do need some family hotels for them. We have um, rich people that want to be secluded, more or less. And we have backpackers and, uh, well, young people mostly that just want to relax in a, in a good hotel cheaply um, and then continue to explore the city. Now, this is going to be the tourist area. As I said, we do have a ranch here still that I need to move. Where do we have some high quality soil for a wrench those poor people are going to 
totally lose it now because they are moved to another part of the of the town completely. But this is this is my important area here now for tourists. Right, so we have the beach. Um, on the beach, we have also not only accommodation, of course, but we also have stuff that people like to do. A scenic outlook, for example. Let's unlock the blueprint for that. And as I said, it's going to be very expensive in the beginning to build all of that up before this is making us any profit. Right, we have the Cabana Village. So this is something that just makes sense close to um, the beach area. So I'm going to have the Cabana Village over there somewhere. We're going to have some beach villas that are just outlooking beach area right so there's going to be some three beach villas um we are going to need one hotel this is the standard house that you have for the tourists so this is just yeah somewhere here close to be honest to the docks and stuff like that we could have that um the home oh wait a second let's have the motel close to the docks it just fits and then we have the normal hotel somewhere here um, and then I also will need something where people can enjoy their day. So that is for luxury entertainment and normal entertainment. For example, we would have roller coasters. We have the stadium. We have the aqua park. Let's have the aqua park as well. That just sounds fun. And of course, somewhere here in the tourism area and also close to the beach area that we can have this one. Um, roller coaster sounds a lot of fun, but it's expensive. The fun pier we have. I think we already have one over there. So it... Well, it can't hurt to have a second one, to be honest, of the Funfair Pier. So this is also being used by tourists, right? So something like that, where people can also enjoy their day outside. One more thing, then we have the Snorkel Bay. So this is where people can travel to and just enjoy the, the ocean. Let's have this one out there. People need to go there by boat. Um, and a cocktail bar would also be good for tourists and also for normal citizens. Having something like that here in the area makes sense to me, so let's also have this one. Right, -o. so those are the first buildings. We need something else though here, and that is a metro station. As always, very important, because otherwise those people will not get to these locations. Let's have a metro station here, more or less in the center, um, and I might need a bus line going over there then later. All right, that's going to be quite a long product, oh, well, a lot of construction. Stadium, not possible for now. We have the hang gliding, another thing that is fun, and the beach resort, another thing that is fun. Let's build both of them as well. So the beach resort, as the name says, needs to be at the beach over here. And hang gliding, we actually have a quest for that where people can enjoy their day with some flying around on the beach. Actually, this needs to be on the beach. All right. I'm going to have this one here as well. This is going to be a fun area. Um, and then, yeah, we still have some space, of course, there for some restaurants and stuff like that. But let's just build all of this first. It's going to take a while anyway. And as we can see, my construction workers are already on their way. By now, the shopping mall is being used quite heavily from all the people. It's full, as we can see, almost. So it should be making us some profit now. It's already making some profit. Very good. And this should only go up from now on. Plus, it's also, of course, once again, some jobs that we created with that. And also, our very first tourist port is finished. And we already get the first 10 tourists coming into town. Wait! Where do they live? Oh, Cabana Village. So it's right away tourists that live in this Cabana Village over there. And we also have those beach villas there. They just they, they were just finished, by the way. Each one of them also provides one worker. The Cabana Village has two workers, as we can see. Is already making us some profit. Very good. It's not going to be that easy, though, making profit, really. But still, it's something. Increases the overall happiness of tourists arriving by five. Let's just do this. It's really cheap for something. We have now a tourist rating for our whole island, right? So this we should definitely not neglect. The lower this goes, the less tourists we have. And the more or the higher it is, the more tourists we have. Of course, we need to provide um, accommodation and stuff like that for all of these tourists. But I think we're going to be fine. Cocktail bar. Let's have something else here for food. Uh, let's have the a normal restaurant in the area then as well, where people can enjoy their day somewhere over there. And the metro station should hopefully make all of this very lively. The next hotel, or the first hotel actually, has been the finished. Citizens are demanding elections. Um, ooh, healthcare problem. Praise the capitalists, blame no one, and promise nothing. <laughs> we are totally fine, really. We are fine when it comes to happiness and support rating. The next ship comes in five months. By then, I would like to have a few more accommodations ready. 
so this hotel it was your trust that made it possible the beach villas are ready now. I think we don't have that much accommodation. There's the motel. So this is providing now a bit for the people and I might just build another hotel. And by the way, for the first time, it rains. Is that a catastrophe or something like that? Do we have a volcano? A thunderstorm. <laughs> it's true, the wind is stronger than usual and thunder has been heard rumbling in the distance. The same cannot be said of all the other buildings, I'm afraid. We did not install lightning rods and the cut price insurances policy does not cover disasters. On the plus side, some unhinged researchers are keen to conduct lightning studies. For science, let's conduct the reckless experiments. I have no other option. We do get some disaster reliefs, though, from the superpowers where we have the um, embassies installed, right? So at least that is something. Plus, for the first time ever... Oh! This is not a normal thunderstorm. This is... A hurry... Uh, this is a tornado. Okay, so what I can see, it's it's not destroying the buildings per se. At least I don't think so. This is the first tornado that I see in Tropico ever. So this is the first at all. And it doesn't really... Yeah, it's, it's creating fires, alright? It's creating fires and it's damaging the buildings now. Disabling them. But we can repair them, okay? But still, holy moly. Now, nope, there is also something destroyed. The good thing is, the high quality buildings, the solar power plants, they didn't take any damage. Oh, they did take damage. Alright, and it really costs a lot. The cheap buildings, they're just going to be destroyed right away. Fortunately, it's going into this direction, right? Fortunately, and off it goes. It did not go through the city. Okay, some debris, I guess, fell down and <laughs> created fires throughout the city now. There we have some fires. I might need to upgrade my fire station there real quick to have helicopters. 15k. Now, let's have the high-pressure water jet nozzles for now. This is increasing the, the time, um, or the time, yeah, by 25%. So it speeds up the whole thing. Now, did we get some tourists in the meantime? We did. We did get some more tourists on the way. So we do have someone living now in the hotels. The Cabana Village is full. Oh, that's it, though. We have the fun fair. There are some tourists and visiting people now as well. Let's finish the snorkeling beta real quick. There we have it. This is providing now some fun as well. Boy, the thunderstorm was a bit of a shock though. We still have lots of fires and it's definitely going to cost me quite a bit here. Especially also look at that. 9,000 it costs. They're still working though, so that's fine. Let's fix the more urgent ones. So those here, because they're disabled. This one is totally damaged. This one, this one. Alright, it's going to take a bit of time though before all of this recovers again. And as we can see, 34 fires and 3 buildings got destroyed. So that's the balance. Complete the trade route. We have finished something. I guess the cars. Do we have a new car one? I love having car trade routes. Unfortunately, we don't. Oh, wait a second. Old trade routes. Something for cars. Give me the cars, please. We have good cars. High quality. And I want the money. Boats, cheese, toys, jewelry, chocolate might be an option still. There is something for the chocolate. Furniture, not good. Tooth. Jewelry. Jewelry. Ah, we have jewelry. All right. It's not easy. Planks. Toys. Nah. Alright, very bad trade routes here. Um, canned food. Canned food. And good. There it is. Let's have a medium contract of that. Of also, we fulfilled the trade route here. Let's get a random blueprint for the family resort. And I think we can build the family resort right away. How good is that? Russia knew I wanted to be a... <laughs> a tourist destination. The family resort. Let's have this also somewhere here. Right beside the water fun park and stuff like that. Also, we have the scenic lookout still. That's something that I should have. What is that? That's the beach resort. The scenic lookout we could have here then at the end of this road there. Overlooking the beach and this really nice view. Alright, aqua park. 
I should really finish the metro station there, so it's being used. Also coming up, another cocktail bar. It's not looking like much yet, but it's we're getting there. I have a good feeling. Remember, the truth comes As we can see, Funfair Pier is being used quite a lot. People are actually marching towards it, and it's being full. You always, oh, this one is... Yeah, it's burning. <laughs> the other one is burning. That we are not beset with an out of We are pretty fire. low on the support rating. I might actually do a tax Once cut. On everyone's good side. Four thousand. We can do this. So there we have it. Right. So this was rather close, actually. We need probably also have a look at our supporters. Money. And if they complain when there's not enough money in the treasury to pay for health care, sanitation, crime, safety, and so forth. Well, this one is full right away. Hopefully making us some money then. Again. Two easy wins for the price of one. And the beach resort has been built. This is actually not a, re a hotel. I thought it would be a hotel. All right. This is like the, the fun fair period. It's something for visiting. Landslide, you put the earth first and now and the hang glider has been built. Let's go with or the standing. Perfect. That's that. That's that. The Colosseum we have as an attraction. I might not build Stonehenge as well. Let's build Stonehenge. All right. So Stonehenge is going to be... Out here somewhere. There it is. Makes trees grow around the monument. Increases the renaturation rate in which pollution is reduced over time. Increases the tourist rating and provides fun. And it should definitely be a bit further outside. Right, so there we have it. <laughs> Popping down. And we got Stonehenge now in our little village there. By the way, I know what you feel. When the solstice is happening. We probably would want to make the road uh, in the center of this monument. Very good. How do people get over there? No idea. We might also need to install a bus for that. We got 26 new tourists coming in. So the hotel is being used now. The cocktail bar has the tourists visiting. Confer P, of course, is pretty success. We have the hang gliders. The motel is not being used at all. The beach villas are also not used. The cabana village is full. I might build a second one. Right next to it. This hotel is 9 out of 12, so it's pretty full. Then two family resources building up. Let's build a second uh, hotel. We do have more money now available again. So another hotel makes sense to me. Um, this one here. So that we have then two nice hotels in the area. Also, ancient ruins can only be constructed on a relic site that we don't have. Do we have one? No proper object to place it on. I don't think we have a relic anywhere here. Not close by, unfortunately. Um, then we have the tour offices. Provides fun to visiting tourists. We should provide lots of these houses there, by the way, because it's just important. The tour office, let's have this one close to the, the docks, right? So where people know something is going on. Um, we have, by the way, also the restaurant there. Not heavily used yet, but that's going to change. Uh, souvenir shop. Let's also have this beside the, the tour. This makes sense to have it close by. And we might also have some entertainment there. Another restaurant or another cocktail bar. I think the cocktail bar or a gourmet restaurant. That is something we can have here in the area. And then perhaps a nice little park in between here. I would like to keep that tree. It's just fitting in. The cocktail bar here is being used at least, so that's something. And the metro station is also heavily used. Of course, people can use it to get right into town. And thus like to use it often. The environment is a, hot topic a dual demand, bin the wind turbine. That's Glory easy. Let's go with the, dual, uh, the wind turbine. We already have it unlocked. And it's providing a bit of energy. Alright, let's have the wind turbine out here. Oh, and my fisherman's wharf has also been destroyed. Everyone is happy. This one. Or Let's go for that. 92% support rating is also looking really good. No idea how it jumped up that high. 50 more tourists coming in. Actually, 40 because we're losing 10 as well that are departing. But 40 more are coming in. 
I think now all of that here is full, right? Yep, also the family resource is full. Both cabana villages are full. Beach villages are not being really used. Let's destroy one of them. The home motel. At least there's one person in them. I might just have another family resort then. People really love the beach resort. It is completely full um, and thus also making us some nice money. I might just build another one. There's this blueprint or this uh, copy function. Um, let's just have a second one here. Um, I'm going to move the scenic lookout a bit further. Either here actually. We might have them here or here. Uh, that's not a good site though. Let's have it out here. Yeah. I think this is better for it. Very good for the next beach resort. Ah, it's coming along. It's coming along. Um, I might also have another family resort because this one is really full. Another family resort coming in. Where should we have it? Um, over the street there. Yep. On the other side. Also, two offices have been built and the souvenir shop are just starting to work out now. Motel is full. Another motel. Why not? Let's have two of them here. Um, there's the second hotel that has been built now as well. It's still empty, but that's going to change, of course. I'm confident about that. There's the next ship already coming in. After all, we have two beautiful monuments, right? People need to see them. There's a tourist boat with... Yep. We're still making a good increase thing. The second hotel is completely full. Um, the family resort was built a bit too late, I think. No one likes the beach houses. Cabana villages are working fine. Your immediate efforts. I don't like any of them. I don't like these dual demands at all, to be honest. Cocktail bar, fine, fine, fine. We might have some more fun stuff than here for my tourists. But for now, I think it's fine, right? Looking good so far. Looking good so far. And money-wise, it's also flooding in. Stay tuned. <laughs>